I'll head it to your question. Right. If you have read and understood, considering it surgical pathology station, kindly tell me, how would you address this matter with the patient? Yes, I have to tell the patient that there is some different kind of cancer uh, we have found in his uh, pathology histology report that yes. has invaded his uh, uh, covering of the lungs that is called pleura and, and to the lymph nodes. So there may be more uh, necessity of uh, uh, excision. All right. Uh, yeah. In order to establish your diagnosis, can you mention one simple non-invasive uh, investigation that can be conclusive? Yes, uh, that is called chromogranin A. We can find in blood. And no, for uh, for the diagnosis of lung carcinoma. Oh, mm -hmm. lung for lung carcinoma. I I am I was talking about carcinoid tumor. Okay, for lung carcinoma. Oh, uh, can... uh, uh, all right. Uh, that means if it is carcinoid tumor invading pleura and lymph nodes, what does it tell you? How would you interpret the histology? Yes, report? it's it's it could be a perineoplastic syndrome or or it could be. A new, new, uh, new, new tumor uh, uh, formation or new tumor uh, cancer cell uh, pro uh, proliferation uh, that arises from this uh, neuroendocrine cells. Yes. And for one uh, investigation, we can do sputum for uh, cytology, so yes. we can see uh, malignant cells. Yes. And this patient uh, had a small cell carcinoma, right? How would you yes. classify the carcinomas of lung? Carcinomas are broadly classified into a small cell and a large cell carcinoma. Large cell carcinomas are again uh, subdivided into adenocarcinoma, adenoesquamous carcinoma, esquamous cell carcinoma, carcinoid tumor. Okay. And large cell, large cell carcinomas are oat cell carcinoma, clear cell carcinoma. Yes. Can you tell me, uh, considering that this patient has small cell carcinoma, how would you consider the prognosis of the patient? A small cell carcinomas are uh, a poor prognosis. Yes. And they spread more. Yes, more aggressive. Okay. Can you please tell me, all right, you have told me histological report of carcinoid tumor. Uh, so what what was your answer? What did you say? How? What would be the conclusive uh, Yes, blood test. All right. Okay, considering that. But if you have to consider a uh, lung carcinoma, what would we? What would be one uh, conclusive investigation? Non-invasive. Non-invasive. We can do CT scan of the chest, lung. CT scan is also expensive. Sputum cytology. It's, you can do. Yeah, I yeah I told that sputum cytology. All right. Okay. Can you tell me uh, what is the significance of pleural plaques? Plural plaques uh, denotes that there are some uh, um, plural thickening occur, which could be due to some uh, exposure to uh, occupational uh, occupational right. hazard. Yes. Like asbestos. Yes. So in and? case of asbestosis, there are there is a plural plaque formation occur, and it's uh, mostly due to yes. prolonged 
exposed to this uh, to but this, what is uh, what happens in this plaque formation yes, if you there can is fibros fibrosis. fibrosis very good fibrosis. all right can you tell me what are the risk factors which lead to lung carcinoma risk factors are uh, it could be uh, smoking it could be occupational this uh, hazards like asbestosis there could be family history and what are the <clears throat> genes which are involved in uh, in the formation or causation of uh, lung carcinoma? Uh, sorry, I'll get back to, get back okay. to that. Okay. Uh, can you tell me, how would you define adenocarcinoma? Adenocarcinoma are carcinoma arising from the epithelial tissue of cells, which have uh, formation of glands. Yes. And? And uh, there is uh, increased proliferation of this glandular tissue. Uh, yes. Which leads to adenocarcinoma. Which has staining for? Hemos Any particular yes. one, one marker? One cell marker? Yes. TTF1? What does it stand for? Is it, uh, is uh, considering adenocarcinoma, what are the risk factors? Does it occur in smokers or non-smokers? Uh, yes, as non-smokers, non adenocarcinoma, non-smokers, yes. All right, okay. How, after you have diagnosed the lung carcinoma, what should be the management of this particular patient? Once it says the histology report, how should this patient be managed? Yes, I would uh, discuss this case with a multidisciplinary mm -hmm. team and yes. uh, and I would arrange for uh, uh, further resection. I would plan for further resection if necessary. And yes. then I would and? go for... Uh, near adjuvant chemotherapy or radiotherapy. All right. Uh, do you think uh, chemotherapy and any particular tyros and any particular hormonal therapy is beneficial in case of lung carcinoma? I just don't want um, to tell you. Epidermal growth factor receptor positive uh, cancer. There is imatinib is used. Okay. Tyrosine kinase inhibitor can be used. That can be yes, beneficial. Uh, when considering the chemocytotic drug. Okay. Can you tell me how would you differentiate uh, in bronchogenic carcinoma and mesothelioma? Uh, mesothelioma is the uh, carcinoma of the uh, plural uh, mesenchymal tissue that is plural pleura and uh, bronchocarcinoma arises from the lung tissue. And mesothelioma is, uh, is 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 not localized; it's widespread. So uh, the treatment, uh, the prognosis is poor. Treatment, uh, the targeted therapy cannot be given. But in bronchocarcinoma, the lesion is localized, so a targeted therapy can be given, and better prognosis than mesothelioma. And it is uh, central, and mesothelioma is uh, is peripheral. Good. Right. All right. Can you tell me, uh, when considering chemotherapy and radiotherapy, how the lung carcinoma respond with the lung carcinoma tumor or the mass? How does it respond towards it? Uh, yes, uh, lung carcinoma, there's bronchocarcinomas, and they respond well to well, uh, very good. Chemothera chemotherapy. Okay, what uh, precautions would you advise to the patient? Uh, what lifestyle, patient, yes, oh, lifestyle yeah. changes or any, yes, any advice yeah. you would give? Stop, uh, stopping uh, smoking, uh, uh, stop working into this uh, where there is environment, yes, user, yes, environmental change and. Uh, have this yes good thank you thank you ma'am